and the fact that really no major member of the Kennedy family coming to Dallas since 1963. I believe Eunice Kennedy Shriver, one of the only Kennedy family members who's ever visited a museum that was created 14 years ago. That museum very much dedicated to President Kennedy's life and walking a very delicate line, not really taking a position on what happened, presenting information about his life, information about what happened and the various theories there. But there's no official ceremony going on here. There never really is every anniversary year. And that is in keeping with the Kennedy family desire to remember the president on his birthday, to remember his life and not the tragic way he died. Kelly, I don't think I'm giving it, uh, away any secrets here to say that you weren't born uh, 40 years ago when uh, President Kennedy was assassinated. But what is it like for you to be sitting there right in the middle of where all of this happened? Well, no, uh, no uh, major development there, right? Not alive that day, but it, of course, it's something we always ask. We ask our parents, I ask my mother, my father, where they were on that day, November 22nd, 1963. They know exactly what they were doing, just as most of us who were not alive that day remember what we were doing on September 11th. A couple of observations. Number one, it is so small. It appears a much smaller area in person than it seems to be in video clips or in photographs and also the sense of how much this area is almost frozen in time. That building behind me, that is the former Texas School Book Depository building where the fatal shots are believed to have been fired from. It is intact. You have this whole area, the grassy knoll. It's almost exactly as it was in 1963, and that is quite moving and, of course, so sad. So sad to think of what happened here. Uh, someone who has covered presidents as well to think of what an impact this was on the whole administration, on the Secret Service, and on the entire country and the world. Uh, it's very moving and, and a solemn, very solemn place. And it was, uh, we learned from this CNN documentary that, that's airing again later today, the beginning really of what we do, the live coverage of news that day, November 22nd, 40 years ago. Kelly Wallace, thank you so much. Uh, for joining us. We've got the shock of events 40 